Google Nest Floodlight Camera Installation Before opening the floodlight camera box, read warning label about strong magnet. Open the box. The floodlight box contains floodlight main body camera camera setup instruction mounting plate mounting plate cover grounding wire s hook hex key wire nuts mounting plates screws to choose from as needed floodlight body anti-theft screws camera anti-theft screw turn the power off to existing floodlight remove existing floodlight remove existing bracket this floodlight wasn't installed on a junction box so new junction box must be installed if existing floodlight has been installed on a junction box, skip support box installation and go to next step for new floodlight bracket installation. Choose the junction box, which fit the installation application. Junction box can be recessed or surface mount. In this situation, 4 inches round and 1 half of inch deep pancake metal light outlet support box will be installed. Junction box installation. Choose and remove outlet box knockout. Choose proper approved wire connector. Insert connector into the knockout. Draw cutting line for recessed outlet box. Cut wood siding to recess light outlet box. Insert cable into the wire connector. Secure light outlet box to the sheeting. Install light outlet box grounding screw. Strip the cable jacket. Wrap grounding wire around the grounding screw and tight the screw. Trim grounding wire if needed, and using wire nut attached to it grounding wire supplied with floodlight. Remove screws for fixture support which are supplied with outlet box. Attach forked ended grounding wire to floodlight mounting plate. Pull the wires through the mounting plate. Use the arrows on mounting plate to line it up top of the top of light outlet box till you see screw holes. Loosely attach the mounting plate using right size screws from screw supplied. Mounting plates leveling lines. Use level and two opposite lines on the mounting plate to adjust the plate by turning until it is level. Tighten the screws. Install mounting plate cover. Make sure the arrow and the G on mounting plate cover are upright. Place and press the cover over the mounting plate until hear it, click. Secure mounting plate in place using screws provided. If needed, use caulk along outer edge of plate cover to seal gaps between the cover and the wall. Avoid caulk around the drainage hole on the bottom of the plate. Use S hook to hang floodlight body for connection. Place hook in floodlight body hole and hang on the mounting plate. Trim wires if needed. Strip ends of wires about one half of inch. Connect the neutral, white wire from the wall cable to neutral, white wire from the floodlight. Connect hot, black wire from the wall cable to hot, black wire from the floodlight. Insert connected wires into the outlet box. Remove the S hook. Position the floodlight over the mounting plate cover. Align the clips on the floodlight with the grooves on the plate. Press the floodlight onto the plate and twist clockwise until it clicks.
Use the hex key and screw floodlight anti-theft screw. Remove protective camera cover. Mount the camera on the floodlight magnetic plate. Connect the power cable to the camera. Use the hex key and screw camera anti-theft screw. Restore the power to the camera outlet. If the connection is correct, floodlight will turn on for 30 seconds and the status light on the camera will pulse blue. Adjust floodlight light heads to your needs and after that tighten the knobs at the base. Aim the camera to cover location of your need. Connect camera to the network and follow setup steps. If this video is helpful please subscribe. Comments are welcome.